I'm sitting here with Adrian, and Adrian has completed the feelings and needs exercise. Thank you for bringing it. And so, Adrian, I'd love for you just to um, pick one of the experiences, one of the challenges that you wrote down, and just to walk us through, um, column by column, a story. Share a story with us. And as as I'm listening, I'm listening, trying to listen closely enough so that I'll be able to tell Adrian his story back to him, basically, once he's done. So go for it. What, be, what's a challenge that you faced? I'd be glad to tell you about probably the challenge that defined me the most. Um, growing up, my family faced domestic violence issues with both my dad and stepdad. Um, at the time, it really impacted the role both my brother and I took in the family, as well as my mom. Hmm. How so? Ha having been left a single mother, my mom had to take up two jobs. And because of that, my brother and I were forced to take care of things at home. Mm. Once my little brother came along, and that's when me and my brother really took the role of raising him. Mm. We take care of him at home, make sure he was well fed, and just make sure he was in general okay. Mm -hmm. um, and as you experienced the effects of this, uh, this domestic abuse, what were some of the feelings that, that you know that you experienced? I genuinely felt confused apprehensive I wasn't sure how things were going to turn out I I leaned more I ended up becoming more introspective mm. I felt introspective and oddly enough I felt at ease mm. I'd be curious to hear more about that what 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 led you to feeling at ease I think it was mainly just because the tension between my parents wasn't there anymore mm. and once your father or yeah. stepfather left once both my dad and stepdad left, mm -hmm. the tension wasn't there anymore, and yeah. we knew that within each other, my brother, both my brothers and my mom and I, that we would be succinct, we would be united. Mm. Wow. So, based on these feelings that you mentioned, um, you mentioned confusion, um, you also mentioned feeling at ease. What were some of the needs underlying some of these? And feel free to reference your sheet if that's easier. At the time, I think I really needed stability. And things were shaky at home. Mm. We weren't we weren't financially stable. At times, we weren't emotionally stable either. Mm. So I'd say stability. Uh, another thing I'd say I needed would be empathy. I just felt disconnected from the world, and I wasn't sure if other people were going through similar things, Yeah. especially having gone through it twice. Um, and to go along with the feeling at ease, I think I needed to be able to understand mm. because although I did feel better that they weren't part of our lives anymore part of me knew that they must have had reasons mm. for being who they were yeah so you mentioned um, needing stability needing empathy and needing understanding so what are some ways that you worked to meet these needs what did you do about it um, in order to work towards the stability I like I mentioned before, my brother and I took larger roles at home. At some point, we both got jobs. We were raising our little brother, and we were helping my mom with as much as we could. Mm -hmm. um, to go, I also started to reach out more. If I was confused about something, I tended to go. I tended to ask for help. Yeah. I was able to get out of that show and not be ashamed of needing help. Yeah, and then. Along with that came the understanding, just being able to grow and experience things through that. I've come to realize that the actions of my dad and stepdad had their reasons, although they're not justified. Hmm. I at least know why. Yeah. Yeah. Um, based on going through this experience, based on doing the things you did, reaching out more, um, and taking on a larger role, what do you feel like you learned? Or what are some, I like to call it superpowers, that you feel like you <laughs> developed? Like, what did you get better at? through those experiences? I didn't necessarily get better at but I did become this and it was that I became independent. Mm. I, like, even now, I've definitely taken a more independent role. Mm -hmm. um, one of the, the biggest thing I'm really proud of to say to this entire experience is that I really just in general taught myself to learn. I'm really proud that I was able to adapt mm in such a way. Yeah. And you became better at learning? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. And the drive it's given me. Mm -hmm. 
um, having been through that, having seen it all, the effect it's taken on my brothers and my mom mm -hmm. is really just giving me the drive to get them better. Cool. Awesome. And do you have a sense, and it's okay if you don't, do you have a sense of what you want to study or do in the future? Yeah. Oh, it cool. definitely has to do something with science and math. Okay. Probably architecture. Cool. Or maybe even just engineering in general. Awesome. And are there any ways that you can see that these experiences have helped you develop certain resources or values or qualities that will serve you potentially as an engineer or an architect? Um, definitely being able to just solve various problems at home with your brother. Mm. If any of you guys ever get to raise kids, you'll know that finding weird, wacky ways to get them to behave <laughs> is some fun problem solving. I'll second that. <laughs> Great. Um, so here, my turn. Let me kind of borrow your list yeah. for a second. So, then uh, this is a hard thing to do, so I'm going to get this wrong. So I'm just going to say that at the start that I'm going to screw this up. I'm not going to be able to tell <laughs> the story um, as well as you told it, um, but I'm going to try to let you know what I heard. Um, so the challenge that you focused on, you mentioned, was domestic abuse, uh, both from father and stepfather, correct? Yeah. Um, some of the effects in your life were... Um, added responsibilities at home, taking care of your little brother. Um, mom, one of the other effect was mom working two jobs, which I imagine yeah. <laughs> meant you were even more important. Um, some of the feelings that you mentioned feeling were uh, confusion around things. Uh, you mentioned apprehension. Yeah. Uh, and you also mentioned, this is really interesting, you mentioned feeling at ease. Like once the, once they were out of your lives, each of them, there was like less tension around the house. Yeah. yeah? Okay. Um, and then some of the needs that went along with that. The big one that you mentioned at the start was stability, like needing a sense of, you didn't say this, but like something that you could be sure of. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely felt that way. Yeah. Okay. And a sense of, you mentioned empathy, like there was the, a need for empathy for, I think, I don't know if you said this, but being understood. Oh, you said knowing if other people were going through a similar yeah. experience, but also understanding like what were their what was their thinking and what were they going through? Like, you know, why did they behave the way yeah. they behaved? Yeah. What you did about it, uh, you took on more responsibilities at home and uh, taking care of your brother, both of your brother, yeah. both you and your brother taking more responsibilities at home. Um, and, oh, getting a job. You mentioned getting a job in construction and uh, working to, you know, help support your mom, which uh, you didn't say this explicitly, but I imagined helped to bring some more stability. Yeah. Cool. Uh, what did you learn? And notice that I'm totally referring exactly <laughs> to his sheet, so I'm not having to make any of this up. But I'm also remembering some stuff he said. You said becoming more independent was a big deal for you. Yeah, um, and something I've really been able to take pride in. Yeah, right. Um, learning. This is my favorite thing that you've said so far. Is like you've learned because it's unexpected, <laughs> and, and I haven't. Like, you learned how to learn better. Um, through all this, which I'd love to hear more about. I'm really curious about, you don't have to share right now, but I, I'm really interested <laughs> in that idea. And then in terms of a superpower or skill that you feel like will serve you in your future career, um, the ability to solve problems, because as a <laughs> raising a kid, you know, as you've had to do, you've learned, it's I love tricky. to use the word wacky, right, problem solving skills in order to, um, you know, help your little brother um, get through life. Um, yeah. So it sounds to me in some sense that you've, in raising him, you've also done a lot of raising yourself, you know, which I find really inspiring. I really think you got a spot on, Ethan. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so that's my version of your story. I'm just curious, what is it like to hear me share back your story with you? It, there's definitely have some resonance. I feel like I'm talking to myself. Hmm. I mean, I'll be here exactly the same way. And it even adds to the whole being able to feel like I'm understood. Mm. Like even now, I'm still getting that now. Mm. Cool. Awesome. Thanks.